At OSU, we like to give our students opportunities to mingle with the professionals, as well as get some hands-on uh, experience. And today we had Mark Bartlow of Ryan Lawn and Tree Service from o Overland Park, Kansas with us. Glad to have you here today, Mark. Thank you, David. Um, today you were demonstrating some techniques called cabling and bracing in trees. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that, what it is and why we do it? Uh, cabling and bracing a tree, it's really something we'll do to help protect a tree that's beginning to fail. A tree that's beginning to split apart or has the potential to split apart. And it's a means just to support that tree to help it work in unison with, with itself. Okay, so there's there not every tree is going to need to be cabled or braced. No. So you'll come in and assess maybe a particular tree or situation and determine whether it really needs tr uh, cabling or bracing, right? Correct, correct. So this is to kind of help trees that may possibly have the potential of creating um, personal or property damage. We wouldn't do this probably to a tree that's out in the north 40 of their property, right? No, not necessarily. There needs to be some sort of specific target that 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 tree could potentially damage. And then we'll even size up some of those trees that look like they could be cabled and, and say, look, you know, it's time to part ways with this tree. Let's remove it. So so even if it has potential maybe to cause some problems, there may it may be at a point where cabling and bracing is not going to help either. Right. Uh, structurally, the tree just, you know, may, may be too weak still and it could still creates, fall down. Creates too much liability for the homeowner. Okay. Don't want to put them into that situation. Right. Okay, excellent. Well, we have some, in, in your field, you have some unique uh, tools and equipment. Uh, mm -hmm. Would you like to show us some of those? Sure, sure. It's uh, a lot of what we work with on cabling and bracing are, are simple hardware pieces designed specific to the industry. A okay. little tool called a J lag that screws into the trunk of the tree. On that, we're going to attach a steel cable. That steel cable will connect the two halves of the tree that are working against one another and now help this tie is, them together. This is actually done usually up in the canopy this, of the tree, right? This is done in, in the upper third of the canopy okay, of great. the tree overall. So you're gaining mechanical advantage. Okay, so two of these techniques are cabling and bracing. Right. Um, what is bracing and when would, would that be used? Bracing is when we use a um, piece of what uh, most homeowners will know is all thread, or okay. just a long threaded rod. And when a tree trunk begins to split or separate, there's times where we'll stitch it back together, if you will, or hold it back together with a long threaded rod all the way through the trunk of the tree. Uh, there, we've got an example behind us here that we can take a look at. Okay. And the purpose is to keep that trunk, like I say, from splitting apart any further. But that, that wouldn't be a used in it by itself. No, We're going to usually no. do that in conjunction with cabling up in the canopy right. of the tree to provide additional support. Exactly. Right? You okay. got it. Excellent. Now, besides the cable itself, uh, there's some new material that's kind of out there now in, in that, are, that, that you guys are using. Right. Over the last... Uh, about 15 years, uh, the Germans have been starting to introduce a product called, uh, oh, there's Cobra Cable, there's Tree Save, or a couple brands. It's a synthetic material. We really like these type of systems in trees such as the Hackberry and Silver Maple because they aren't as in invasive as the steel material. The okay. steel material, part of its structural integrity comes from the fact that that tree heals or grows around that hardware and helps hold it in place. Now those two trees that I mentioned, silver maple and hackberry, they aren't the best at compartmentalizing wounds is what we refer to it. And they sometimes have softer wood too, which right. may not hold exactly. the, the material that's placed into the tree you know, as well, right? First hand experience, we've seen cables that, that pull out. That's where this stuff comes into play and we really like it. It wraps around the trunk of the tree and helps tie the two halves together that way. It again, it's the same thing as a steel cable. Every two or three years, we want to get in and inspect the material, make sure that it's you know, still properly placed, that it's still properly functioning. And uh, what we really like about it is it allows that tree to continue its natural growth process, keeping that what we call reaction wood developing that develops the diameter and the strength in the tree. Right. So it helps you know, create a shock absorber in the tree, if you will. Unlike steel cable, that's a lot more rigid. The one disadvantage to the, the synthetic cables, if a tree has an active split in the trunk, mm -hmm. we can't use it. Okay. We've got to use the steel cable. So it's, that's, that's the catch-all with it. Okay, great. 
Well, thanks, Mark. We really appreciate yeah, having you, you with us today on the show and uh, hope our viewers uh, have learned a little bit about cable embracing. Very good. Thank you, David. Thank you. You bet.